So Amanda, this show is such an international phenomena. Talk about being part of the screen adaptation. It's like the biggest dream I never really thought I was dreaming. Um, I've been so in obsessed really with the musical for so long since I was 11. Um, and I, you don't really expect these kinds of things to come al around like, like they do. And even when I was promoting Mamma Mia, I was always, they, everybody asked me what my favorite musical was and I would always say it was Les Mis. And so it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. And, and, and having seen the final product of, of the months and months of work that we all did, it was, it's just like, it's better than I could have ever imagined. What makes the story so timeless? I think the themes in it are, are things that are always relevant. I think um, we're, all, we're all looking for strength and love and, and we're, we're all um, moved by the power of redemption and, and there's always, um, and there's always social inequity and and struggle, and there's always injustice in in the penal system, the just class systems. We're always fighting for something we believe in because there's always something wrong, and and unfortunately, the theme is always carried out through through time through time because if we didn't have sorrow and 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 if we didn't have tragedy, then how, you know why would we keep relating to this? Why would we keep going back to this? And it's a phenomenon because because we do. Everybody is affected by this in some way. And I think bringing this to the screen, it, pe more people have access to it. And the people that would normally go to the theater or can't go to the theater uh, this, to see the stage show will we'll see it. You know, this this story just needs to to, to catch everybody. I mean, because it's, it's so powerful. And I think in this film, we've managed to even color in, color it in more and, and give more, and, even more int intimacy to, to the characters and and be more specific with what everybody was feeling in every moment and and it's like it's the best version it's the best of the book and the stage put in one for the entire world to be affected by sorry long-winded De describe the experience of singing live for film it's really scary when tom says uh, action and the music starts playing in your ear from the pianist that's on, on set, but kind of hidden. And it's your turn to sing, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I can't listen to my voice right now. I can't listen to it. Oh shit, I just, I just totally sang that the wrong way. I, I, man, I wasn't breathing then, and it's like, it's so scary when all you can do is think about what you're doing wrong and not live in the moment. And that was something that I had to really, I was struggling with that. And then I, I finally was able to just, just kind of leave that behind, but, but it, it took a really long time. And so singing live is, is, it's just, it's amazing at the same time because you're, 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 your body's reacting to, to the sound you're making and, and, and your emotions are, are kind of, the stakes are raised and, and you're on another level emotionally and for an actor it's really kind of liberating because it's it's a different feeling that you're used to getting and it just all becomes one new exciting scary experience and I'm telling you it's like I would, I would be lying if I didn't say that we were all equally terrified. Thank you so much.